hello, 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 guys. I'm back. I told you I was going to be back. Yeah. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. See my sh champagne, please. <laughs> I was at an event, child, and the lady snubbed me over my own husband. Cranberry juice. That's what I drank when I was going out with guys. I didn't drink. I would I have me some cranberry juice. Hi, Tidra. Ladies, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I have a lot of headspace up here. Hi, Christina. Let's see if I can extend this a little bit. Nope. It's not working. Hello, ladies. Hi, Lee. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anybody. Let's see, Christina, Lee, hi, Oseas, hi, Princess, hello, Daryl, hi, brother, how are you, Alive, how are you, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all how I was snubbed over my own husband, I was even snubbed at his church, child. one event I just stopped going to, because I'm like, this lady have it out for me, and I'm like, she's mad at me. And I didn't even know her. He asked me to marry him. Hi, Patricia. So why are you mad at me? I'm drinking some tea, ladies and gents. What are you drinking? What are you drinking? What are you sipping on tonight? It says Bride Squad, I think. Let's see. No, it says Mother of the Bride. Since we're going to talk about husbands, I figure I got this cup. And then this size says... Um, Bright Squad. Yes. Hi, Bettina. How are you? Okay, there's another Bettina. Hi, Danielle. How are you, my sister? How are you? And um, let me just let me just share with a few of the other ladies. How are you guys doing today? How was your day? Did you guys have the day off today? I um I got up today. I um or did I sleep in late? Hi Charlotte. Um Um Big Michael dropped the baby off. He wasn't feeling well this whole week, so I was out with the kids all weekend. And I kind of just lay around the house, rested a little bit. I did get up and clean and disinfect the the, the room. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I sterilized the room. <laughs> I Lysol, while he was out, I Lysol the whole house, the room down. I changed the sheets. I opened the window. I sprayed. I dust. I cleaned the floors. <laughs> I was like, kill the germs. Kill the germs. <laughs> yeah, he can't. He was like, baby, what you doing? I was like, cleaning up. And uh, he was glad. So he um he he was able to go back to bed and then just kind of lay around the house the rest of the day and rested. And I had some book work to do. But I said, you know what? I'm just gonna take a break today. Hi, Gina. Let's see who did I miss. I'm trying to find something. Patricia. Hi, Gina. How are you? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, uh, just give me a few minutes, guys. I'm trying to share the video. I'm having my tea. I figure, since we, we were going, we're talking about being snubbed, I got Tension Tamer. Yeah, Tension Tamer. Yes, 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 my beloves. Um, let me, um... Let me get my YouTube. So I went to set up my YouTube and apparently I've had a YouTube channel. I guess I forgot about it. It's old, so it's like from 2013 or something. So I guess I forgot about it. So now I just have to share. If you guys have YouTube, please look me up. It's Janice Hilton Thompson, of course, my name. And um, tomorrow I'll be able to add some videos. It said it takes 24 hours. Um, so I'll be able to share tomorrow. I'm going to do a lot of quick 
videos. Okay, I just missed somebody. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Uh, a sound man live. Who's that? A sound man live. Who's that? And the other Patricia. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot of short videos on YouTube just to get the word out there, especially about my book coming out soon. Um, yeah. So that's I just I just shared my YouTube uh, on my on this on this uh, page, and then I'm going to share. My paid this live to a few, um, few of the groups I'm in. How's everyone doing today? You guys didn't answer me. Were you off today? Too is a holiday. Oh, this is good. It tastes like peppermint. I guess cause peppermint is taming. Mm. All right, let me share this and then we're going to jump right in because I'm trying not to stay on for more than an hour. Hi, Denise. Hello, my love. How are you? Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, no, what, Denise? What's, what's no? Hi, Elva. How are you? 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 Yes, off teacher aid. Over. Uh, Chris, Christina, what's 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 the answer? Yes, off teacher aid. What what is that? Over your husband. <clears throat> I think I need one little bit more sugar. I use uh, brown sugar. I'll be right back, guys. I don't use a lot of sugar but and I don't use honey honey has a spoon of honey has twice the calories of a spoon of brown sugar so that's why I stay with the sugar if all for president day oh yes 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 all for president day okay good good goody did you guys say hi to princess Ariel this is my girl here okay say hi to princess Ariel guys oh, she's got her crown Um, okay, so okay, let me share and then I'm gonna jump right in it. Yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So, did you guys enjoy the the uh, the other live I did about Christian women? I know some people uh get real offended and triggered, but it's worth discussing, you know. You know, I've known about four or five just off the top of my head ladies who in the past year who have come out of their comfort zone and have gone out to events and date um because ain't nobody at the church are you nap girls all you nap girls lol <laughs> denise i have an ariel yes um denise has an Arab pretty pink thank you thank you thank you guys thank you hi principal khalif how are you thanks for joining me no offense that's silly I know, right, Denise? I'm like, why are you mad? Isn't it worth discussing? All these single women in the church, y'all don't want to talk about it? Don't you think we need to talk about it? All right. Okay, let me share it one more time to my page. Let me share it to my Jan Hilton page. Yeah, hi, Sonia. Yeah. I was snubbed, y'all, over my husband, child. I'm... I I'm gonna demonstrate it to you guys. I have I have the body pillow. I'm gonna demonstrate it to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, please, please share. If you could just share, the more people I get to watch, as I'm trying to um, really get my books out there, 
and um, if you could just share so um, others could know about the live and my books and I'm gonna read something from my book if I can find it I got a request to read this girl needs her nap uh, Alva you have to stay up dear I'm not gonna be long just don't forget to share <laughs> All right, all right, okay, okay, here it is. So, oh, it's delicious. So, let me tell you guys about my books first. So, my first book is Praying for Our Children, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one is In Christ I Am, talking about who we are in Christ. It's a very good book for especially women. I wrote it for my daughter. That's my baby on the cover. That's Alexia. She is a drummer. She plays the drums. And my latest book, hi, Calvin is The Naked Wife. Oh, it's good, 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 good. And then my next book that's coming out soon is <laughs> is going to be about how to gather data on the guys you meet. So when you meet guys, how do you get the information you need? Thank you, Denise, to make a decision about them. Remember earlier I mentioned about the, oh, my hands are dry, about the 51-year-old woman that have never been out on a date? 51 Never been out on a date. That means you've never met a man. Elva, thank you. Did you leave a review? Um, that means you've never sat across from a man and talk. And at 51, what are you expecting? You're just going to meet a guy and voila, he's it. Is that what she's going to do? Um, because by the time I met my husband, I was so good at gathering data on guys that I knew, oh, I wanted to talk to him again. And then there were a lot of guys that I met that I never went out with because just by talking to them for about a minute or two, I, I got enough information on them that I knew I didn't want to go out with them. Hi, Kevin. Welcome back. Hi, Ann. I didn't want to go back to, with them. And so this 51-year-old woman had never, never, never been out on a date. I don't know how is that even possible. I'm not exactly sure what she's expecting. Is she expecting God is going to just come and drop this man and say, boom, this is your husband, marry him? And all the ladies were cheering her on. Oh, you go ahead, baby. God's going to bless you. God's going to bless you. Hold on, baby. Hang on. God's going to do it for you. He's going to do it for you. And I'm like, she 51. No, I'm not saying God is not going to do it for her. But I'm like, well, what? When does the light come on that what you've been doing has not worked, is not working, and you need to do something else? That's insanity, right? Insanity is doing the same thing while expecting a different result. That's what insanity is. And I'm like, well, when? When? I had to leave the group. 50 year old virgin. 51, Kevin. She was 51. And the women were cheering her on. Okay, all right. So, you guys know how I met my husband. God spoke to me. I was like one of the, the church sisters. That's why I'm passionate about getting church girls out, church women out, to go out, to get out of the church, get out of the four walls. If there's nobody at your church dating you, trying to marry you, you need to get out of the church building and go to get a social life so that you can meet somebody. Okay, God's people is everywhere. They're not only in the church, in the four walls. They're at events. They're at concerts. They're at restaurants. They're at um, networking events. They're at the movies. They're at uh, Broadway plays. Okay. Hi, Judy. Um, did she ever get married? I don't know, child. I had to leave. Hi, Su Suzanne. God has his people everywhere, okay? And most of us go to these tiny little churches where there's nobody in there. We know everyone. And so um, nobody's trying to marry us, okay? So I I love businessmen. This is why it's... Hi, Daryl. It's important to be honest about what you like and what you want. Hi, Amy. Hello. I meet my... The strip's called Lord Jesus help him. <laughs> uh, because I love businessmen. So going to a networking event was perfect for me because who's at a networking event? Business guys, right? My husband, he came and sat right next to me. Sometimes they're even online. Yes, 
in in the supermarket now i'm going to tell you guys how i went to the supermarket i was so now i'm thinking about i'm pissed i went to the supermarket in my robe my yellow sun boots my hair standing on top of my head shades and three men came up to me asking me for my number and all these other times i was dressed up pretty and nobody came up and asked for me for my number okay so they're everywhere you just have to be open and available okay get out of the four walls so that you can possibly meet someone. Met my husband. Told you three months. He told me I, he loved me. I said. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See I was a finish getting the data. He he had already decided. And made up his mind. That I was his one. That's what my daddy said. It don't take you ten years. To figure out if he's the one. Three. It, that was three months. We started really going out. January, February, March, April. He told me he loved me. I was like, <laughs> thank you. I don't remember when I told him. I think it was probably after he met Lexi and, you know, we knew it was going to marriage. We, he had, we had started to look for rings or something. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. So we're married and, uh, my husband has has two secretaries that they're they're very good friends. They've known each other forever, right? So they had already told me, oh, Janice, I'm just letting you know. When you go to the events and um, there may be some woman that's gonna be mad that he marry you and not them, you know, because there's some woman that's been waiting around to see if he's gonna marry them. So I was like, oh, okay, don't bother me, you know. So we went to this event. I was dressed up real pretty. I had on a, a, a gown. It wasn't like a long gown. Plus, I was pregnant. I was seven months pregnant. So, you know, I had to be comfortable. Um, and um, I brought my girlfriend, Fee, with me. So, I was like, you know, Mike is going to be busy anyway. So, let me just bring my girlfriend. You know, we could talk and, you know, sit beside each other. So, after the event was over. So, usually it's the main event. And then after the event, they have like, they always have a band playing um, music and it's a, a hall full of dessert. Oh my God, it's just so much food, so much dessert. So we were outside taking pictures by the by the the, the logo to, to take pictures and stuff. So, so I'm standing next to Michael. And this is Michael, it's me, and then my girlfriend is standing over here on my right-hand side. I don't remember if Alexia went with me. Hi, Pastor Cassandra, how are you? Are you back from Liberia, I think you went? Are you back home, dear? Did you meet a husband? Well, you know how I feel about that, child. If they don't have no papers, it don't make no sense. <laughs> But but I'm going to demonstrate for you guys, right? So, let me move the chair. So, this is Michael, right? This is Michael. You know, Michael's like six, six feet, right? Yes, you met a husband, Pastor Cassandra. Or yes, you're back. Which one? You got complete sentences, please. <laughs> So this is Michael, right? So this girl. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Dee Dee. My partner in crime. So this girl came up to beautiful girl. There's only two women that I have met that have skin that they look like they 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 soak in milk all day. And they just get out the milk to come to an event. The first one was my, my husband's friend. They went to school together, Vanessa. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. She's beautiful. I saw her skin. I was like this. I just wanted to touch her. Beautiful, 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 beautiful skin. And then this other girl. She has skin like she bathed in milk all day. Like she just stay in the milk. She just get out. <laughs> she got out to come to the event. Beautiful girl. Pretty nice long hair looked like hers you know and uh 
This is the camera I bought that I couldn't fix and Mike couldn't figure it out. So he said he'll try to fix it tomorrow. Um, um, so we're standing and <laughs> I'm, you know, probably talking to feet. I heard somebody say, oh, Michael, My, let, me, let me back up. Oh, Michael, I've been looking for you all night. <laughs> so, my girlfriend, she grabbed me. So, so Michael took, took, took her hand from around his neck, right? And grabbed my hand and, and put my hand in her hand or hers in mine and say, whatever her name is, let's call her Jezebel. <laughs> Jezebel, this is my wife, Janice. Her smile went from She looked at him like this. She looked at me, looked me up and down. Hi. So, Michael, when are you going to come see me? <clears throat> um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys the other part. I'll tell you the other the other part. <laughs> My girlfriend, she grabbed me. She was like, hi, Leo. <laughs> and um, so since she was petty, I decided I was going to be petty. I put my finger, right, my hand, right? You see that? I put it right here. And I was just standing there like, like I was standing next to him like, I was seven months pregnant. You know, I was big, right? But I was a big, big, but you know, seven months is a lot. <laughs> Fee over here holding me. I text her to see if she remember. She over here, she holding me. I'm rubbing my stomach. <laughs> so then, then, then she said, oh. uh, so she said, Michael, so when, after she, after she did this to me, she was like, she was like, hi, so Michael, when are you going to see me? So, so, Micah, hey, Petrina, I never told you this story, I don't think. So, Michael said, well, you know, I'm going to talk to my wife and then, you know, we'll decide when we're going to come see you. So, this Michael, <laughs> Well, she said, she said, and why aren't you wearing a tie tonight? <laughs> Fee over here. Fee over here. She was like. <laughs> she was like. Fee. Fee grabbed me. She was like. to ask her tomorrow she remember I text her she didn't text me back I, I didn't hear it. where's my tissue I left it upstairs she didn't um she didn't. let me run get my tissue guys laugh about that I'll be right back <laughs> I'm back, guys. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> right. <coughs> you missed the story. You're going to have to wait and rewind the video. Girl. Y'all. She. He was like. 
<laughs> this is my wife, Janice. Hey, tell him hey. It's kind of late now, uh, Petrina. He don't have to come back out. Freeze it. Put it in the freezer for me. Um, he was like... <laughs> <laughs> he was like she was like <laughs> she was like Mike you know hand over his neck now you know you don't put your hand over nobody's neck unless y'all got something going on or something so I asked him did y'all ever go out he was like no that's so and so I don't go out with people I work with I don't go out with people I deal with <laughs> D said, ain't no half a go snub me. <laughs> so, she said, oh, Michael, Michael, I was looking for you all night. <laughs> so, he took her, her hand down and <laughs> put her in my hand. She was like, she, she went for, oh, Michael, Michael, I was looking for you all night. So when are you gonna come see me? <laughs> I still laugh about that today. Me, hi Jackson. He grabbed me. Then, then she said, she said, "Why aren't you wearing a tie tonight?" He took her hand. He moved her hand. So let me back up. Let me tell you why the, the story. So, you know, my husband works a black organization. So we, we try to support as many black businesses as possible that we can. So he's been telling me, oh, babe, we have to go support this. We, you know, we have to bring some business to this place of business. So I was like, oh, yeah, 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 sure. Oh, yeah, you know, I like to blow up support black businesses and oh yeah 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 so <clears throat> so this is who this this woman was she was i guess he had told her that he was going to bring some business to her organization to her business um but that was god that didn't make that happen so so that's why she was like when are you going to come see me that's why my husband he said this is my wife, Janice, and, you know, I'll talk to my wife. <clears throat> Hi, Jan. Hi, Petrina. <clears throat> Hi, George. So, after, I didn't, but the thing is, I didn't move. I didn't move. I didn't, I was just standing there with a big old rock on my finger. Smiling. Fee, Fee over here, hold him, grabbing me. She grabbing me. Because the girls had already told me. <clears throat> you know, I've never been snubbed at anybody at the job. Or everyone I've met at his job has been really, oh my God, Michael's getting married. Oh my God. Everybody that we work with, all the people he worked with, they came to our wedding, they gave us gifts, money. Everybody was just so happy that Michael finally got married, right? So everyone has been very, very pleasant, very, very nice, <clears throat> except for her. Uh, so later that night, so I didn't, I wasn't going to go off anyway, because you know, my husband is a businessman. You can't, you, you can't, I can't. And I'm not a ghetto girl, okay? I don't act ghetto, and I don't do all of that, okay? You know? So, I'm not going to be embarrassing my husband. And my father already told me, never de-shield your, your husband in public. So, I would never... Who are you talking to? Why are you touching my husband? I would never do anything. If he don't... If I'm standing right there, and he don't take... Like, like he did take his hand off, take her hand off his neck, take her hand off his chest... <clears throat> I'm not I'm just gonna stand there and smile and then I'll deal with him when I get in the house okay so when we come home I helped him to unbutton he didn't he wasn't wearing a, a tie helping he he had on those 
you know how those Pastor Cassandra, you probably know those shirts that you can wear. It's like a tuxedo shirt. You don't really need a tie with it. So when he came home, I was helping him to do his shirt. I was like, hey, David, what's up? You bringing me some dinner tonight? Um, I was like, smiling. Did you have a good time tonight? Yeah, I had a good time, good time. And so-and-so was who you were saying um, we need to give some business to? He was like, uh-huh. I was like, you take my money down there and see what happened. Okay, take my money down there. <laughs> he had never mentioned it. It's been, Michael's four, I was pregnant, so that's five years ago, right? <laughs> he never mentioned it again. So yesterday, I asked him again. I just wanted to make sure, because whenever I'm telling the story, I just want to make sure I'm telling the story right. <clears throat> he said, I said, remember? He starts smiling. He said, I don't remember all that. I was like, what? He was like, she snubbed you, baby? I was like, yes, she snubbed me. Okay, yes, Jezebel snubbed me. <laughs> he was like, no, I don't think she would have done that. I said, yes, she did. Then I said, okay. How come we never took her business down there? He started smiling. He was like, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. I was like, ah, I have a good memory, Michael. <laughs> that he knew, walked up and hugged him, get all close to him. I looked at her and said, who are you? I ain't giving my husband time for nothing. <laughs> I had a TV <laughs> Yes. So then at the church, you know, he's been going to this church for a while. <clears throat> so when we started dating, I went to visit his church, but I didn't join. I didn't leave my church until we were actually married. Because, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Okay. Until you sign that paper, anything can happen. That is why... Um, if you, if you ever pay attention at weddings, okay, at my wedding, for those of you who were there, that's all that was there. Hi, Janae. Hi, Claudia. Um, you get married and pastor said, um, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Thompson. And I'm just, yeah, oh, congratulations, congratulations. People want to come to you, pastor, like, no, no. Wait a minute. <clears throat> and we have a wedding director. She was she was sharp. She was like, no, no, no. Come on. Over here. Gotta sign this paper. And then we just had to, after they clap, ah, pastor's like, okay, now, come on, sign the paper. They had it right over there. Sign the paper. You can't do nothing until you sign the paper. If you pay attention to the, to the, the wedding, the royal wedding, they, after they, and they take pictures and stuff, um, Kate and William did. I didn't see that with, um, Harry and Megan. Um, maybe I didn't watch all of it, but if, you, if I remember Kate and William, maybe cause he's going to be King or something after the, 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 the Bishop marry them. Do you notice how they go in the back? Cause they have to sign that paper because between I do <clears throat> after you say I do until you sign that paper. You're not really married until you sign that paper. So that's why they rush you to before you do anything else, because anything can happen, sign the paper, sign the marriage certificate. And pastor say he don't trust anybody with his marriage certificate. He say he walk it to, he, he bring it down to the hall of records or wherever it goes. He say, I don't trust anybody with, with every wedding I perform, I don't trust anyone with a marriage certificate. He said, I walk it. He may be not walk. He's close to it. But I take it down to City Hall. City Hall myself to make sure it gets there. Okay. Hi, Matilda Thompson. That's my cousin. They did sign too. Okay. I, I didn't see. Maybe I was flashing back and forth. But but I remember William and Kate. Because, you know. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So at the church, so I didn't leave my church until we actually got married. So we had to do new members class. So one of the new members teacher who also taught Michael, forgot what her name is. Um, 
she was one of my teachers. I, I think they had like seven teachers because it was like it was like a three month new members class or something like that. So she taught Michael. They became really good friends because she was one of the teachers, but then she met Michael on the train to work and they both work in Manhattan. So they became really, 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 really cool friends. Uh, so when she, when I came to the church and um, I had to do a new members class, Michael said, hey, this is my wife, Jan. Well, she, she came to our wedding, so she knew. And so she said, Michael, don't worry about it. I got her. I'm going to introduce her to everybody. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> So, honey, she went to introduce me to one of the other teachers, and it was like, oh, I remember, um, remember Michael Thompson? This is his wife, and she was like, <sighs> she was like, the other lady was like, Julie, I think her name. She was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, okay. The other lady. This lady is over a ministry at the church. This lady just don't like me. She snubbed me so many times. At first, I couldn't figure out why she was being so mean to me. Like, I'm new here. You don't know me. You need to be nice to me. I'm a new member. You know, I was thinking that. And um, I was supposed to do something at the church that you had to sign paperwork. She claimed, and she's the one that was over the paperwork. She claimed she didn't get it, blah, blah, blah. It had to do something with books or something. I was like, whatever. I stopped going to the event. I didn't even go back. After that, a couple of times, I went about two or three times. I was like, you know what? I'm not wasting my time. So what happened was how I figured out, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> How I figured out that's what it was, was one day we got, it, it had to be, it had to be like a holiday, maybe Easter or something. Because when we got there, there was no parking in the parking lot. And so Michael had to park like on the street. I'll catch a heifer else. <laughs> TV. <laughs> so he had to park on the street or down the street because we have three services and the church, the inside the church hold about 1200 people. Plus we have an overflow room that will hold another two or 300 people. So it's huge, right? Huge in comparison to what we know as churches, right? So, um, so he dropped me and Lexi off. Me and Lexi went in, we went to the restroom. We came out when we came out, like the foyer was there. He was standing with his back like this, waiting for me and Lexi to come out the bathroom. So she was all the way over there on the other side on a table. She ran, she get out from behind the table. She ran. She ran. Hi, Michael. How are you? How are you? How you been doing, Michael? And I'm standing there looking at her, and I just sat there. I just stood there and looked at her. I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm just wait, waiting for my wife. I'm just waiting for my wife. She was like, oh, okay. So that's how I knew her. That's what it was. Because I'm like, I don't understand why this lady is so mean to me. You don't know me. Um, you know, you're snubbing me. You claim you lost my paperwork three times. Three times. Ain't no way on God's green earth you're going to lose my paperwork three times that I could not participate in this event, in this thing. Okay? Three times. Come on now. I, I, so after that, I was like, you know what? Whatever. I'm not, I'm not coming back. I won't be bothered. <clears throat> so I never went back to the event. Hey, Boaz. So ladies, wives, when you are snubbed, some women will snub. Don't don't get all mad, get all wild up. Hi, Tisha, how are you? Don't get all mad and all wild up. You just have to remember that he married you, okay? He didn't marry one of them. He didn't marry the girl with the nice pretty skin and the green gown who was all over him. He didn't marry her. He didn't marry one of the girls at the church. He didn't marry her. He married me, okay? He got down on one knee. He went with his frat brother, picked out this ring. 
<laughs> got down on one knee, asked me to marry him, asked my father hand for my hand in marriage, went through the counseling session, bought me this big old beautiful house, put me in it, married me, took me on a honeymoon, bought me a truck, put me in it. He said, baby, park your car. We don't even need your car. I parked my car. My car was parked for like two years. Eventually, I just gave it to my girlfriend. I was like, it don't make sense for my car to be here. You know, just give it away. I gave it to my girlfriend because Mike had bought me a truck and he's he takes the train. So I drive the truck all week. He's not here um, to drive. So I drive the truck unless he's home. So, you know, there's no need to get all.